Hello everyone! This is Loopy Liss and welcome back to Planet Zoo, where we are in franchise mode, about to take care of making another habitat. Yes, that's right, we are going to make another habitat today. Very excited for this one and I've done a little bit of preparation over here. Now, this is, as you can see, quite a large habitat. And it's going to house more than one type of animal. And I quite like the idea of this being a little outlook to them having a drink, maybe. But the idea here is to totally add in some giraffes and also some zebras to start with. Right, we've got an issue already. We've got pygmy hippos fighting for alpha status. Status, status. I'm assuming you're the little one that's just grown up. Yeah, you're fighting Papa. I'm going to send you to storage, my friend. I'm sorry, little boy. But I don't want you fighting with your papa. I am so glad that this doesn't bother them. Look how busy it is right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, I just need to do something that I didn't do off camera, which was literally just to add on a barrier. What is going on? Why are we a bit slow right now? What is happening? I've got way too much going on. I wish this wasn't... Like, it's a little bit laggy in parts, and I don't know how to fix that. It's a bit of an issue. I'm sorry if that bothers anyone. It bothers me. <laughs> it's not too bad. I mean, it's still playable, but honestly, my computer should be able to handle this. Let's see if I can do something real quick. Just to see if I can bring something down a little bit to make things a little bit better. Because, I mean, that graphics card, I got a, a 1060, and it should be able to take care of all of this, uh, Maybe if I bring down the shadows a little bit, maybe that might have a, an effect on things. Or it might just be the fact that the zoo is so big now. It probably is to do with that, but I should be able to... Like, it should be fine. It literally should be fine. Uh, let's turn that to high. And also... Yeah that down a little bit. I don't- I want to make my game look still pretty. But, like, does that affect- that's actually smoother already. A little bit smoother. Do you guys still look cute? Yeah, you guys still look cute. That's fine by me then. That's smoother, that's smoother. It's to do with how much is in your park as well, really. But, um, it is a little bit annoying as well, so I did want to fix that. Anyway, it's time to edit a work zone because I do believe that we need to edit this work zone to I'm gonna call it lions and savanna because it's gonna be a couple of different animals in here I'm gonna edit this and just apply this habitat in here now how much space is actually in here fix incomplete oh yes my bad over here I didn't put a null barrier yeah, in parts it's still a bit laggy. I don't know what's going on. Oh well, it's fine. So, just make sure that that is actually in the building a little bit. Make sure that is a thing. And there we go. There we go. That is all fixed together. Bit of a natural barrier going on here. We are going to build rocks up onto this. They'll be able to walk on that, won't they? That's an issue. Let's build that up a little bit more. Just... Oh, oh, okay. I just don't want them to be able to walk out. Oh god, that's doing a weird thing, isn't it? It's because there's a null barrier under there. I'm assuming that's why that is. But, you know, it's fine. It's okay. We're good. Is that a hole? There we go. <laughs> oh, it looks a bit ugly at the moment, but that's fine. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. It's all good. It is all good. Now, animal storage, we have some brand new reticulated giraffes ready to go in here. So I'm going to move these two in right now. And then I do believe I have no zebras. I didn't prepare on that side of things. But I've never had giraffes in my zoo. None of my zoos have ever had giraffes. There's something funky going on there. Did you see that? Look at that. It's not doing anything. Okay, and there. That's so weird. It's probably because I lowered something, right? Lift that a little. Yeah, it's still going to do it from a distance. That's weird. Anyway, we have giraffes. 
Oh gosh, you are gorgeous. Oh my goodness, you are lovely. Oh gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to have giraffes. Okay, so they are not able to escape, right? Oh, okay, yes, they can get up that little bit over here. So let's just stop that from happening right away. How about now? That is not something that I want. There we go. Okay, so you guys can get in the water. That's brilliant. If you did want to do that. Now let's just straight away just go and take care of that terrain. This is a very open space, so this is going to take a while to kind of get to my liking, but mostly it's going to be quite easy, I hope. So I'd like some short grass around this area. Uh, some more around here as well. Guess rid of some of that and probably... Do you guys like rock? I think we'll have rock along this edge. Mm, maybe smooth rock. Just smooth it out a little. So that's the backdrop. More long grass along that edge. Because I don't want it to be completely rock at the bottom. Uh, still too long grass though. <laughs> So let's get some more short grass in. It feels like there's not going to be enough. Let's get short grass over here. And I'm going to have... Whoa, that's a freeze. I don't know what's going on. Am I playing? No, it's not even playing. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure why it does that. Okay, we need soil. Some light soil. So I'm thinking this side will have a fair bit of soil over here. Probably. We could do the trail thing because they're going to be walking along different ways. So could do stuff like this where they've been walking and do like their little, their little walks around kind of thing. Make it look a little like they've spread it out a little bit. Put some more heavier soil uh, elsewhere, maybe at the back here. Just to just as a, as a difference to like the, the area, a bit more grass on top of that. And then some more long grass just over here. Just make sure we got plenty of long grass, because I do like the long grass. Yeah, so this is going to be a bit more, uh, like, less... What's the word? It's going to be a bit more stripped, because they've been walking along it, you know? It's got, like, a little pathway. And maybe along here as well. And then back to here. So I think that looks okay. Maybe if I just limit how much that actually looks like like a path that I've just drawn. I mean, that'll be fine for now, I think. Do they like sand? Maybe a little bit of sand? Just a little bit, maybe. Maybe a little bit of sand. Is that too much sand? That's too... Just along the edge. I mean, I like a little bit of sand, but I don't think it makes sense, really. Just melt it, melt it in with a bit of soil. It's like on the edge. Uh, a bit more grass just in this area as well, because it looks like a bit too brown. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I think that's pretty good. I think that's fine for now. they got a lot of space, so I'm really happy about that. Clearly we need a hard shelter at some point. Too few adults. Have we got any enrichment for you? Do we have any enrichment for our lovely giraffes? Do we have any. I think we do. We do! We have a rubbing pillar. So that's gonna go right over here. Nice little view there. And a sprinkler. Now I want to spread them out a little bit just so they go in different areas. So one over there. We haven't got any food in Richmond at the moment. Um, I do believe our vet on this side, uh, they're currently taking care of the lions if I remember. Possibly, or are they done? They are actually done! Okay, so who are you? Sonia. Sonia. Reticulated giraffes, please. Thank you. And obviously you guys need something to eat from. Wait a sec, let's sort that out. A food cage, and I think right here in the face of people would be very ideal. I think they'd love that. So just here. There we go directly in front of everyone. I think they're confident with humans anyway, so it should be fine. I mean, I hope. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put hard shelter just yet. Probably at the back. But we shall see. 
Anyway, I think they've got what they need for now, so I am going to let it play. Uh, I do want to get some zebras in here as well, though. So let's have a little look on the market together now. Have I got enough space? I have enough space. I did sell a lot of uh, lemurs recently. Uh, do I want another female giraffe? No, I think I'll leave it. Though your genetics are really nice, but... Oh, no, I, well, I'll leave it, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. So, plains zebra. Okay, we got a lot of females. They're really cheap. Ooh. You're really cheap because your fertility sucks. Right, so that, uh, that makes a bit of sense. Okay, I'll take you. Oh, you're 17 years old. No. Oh, no, why? Okay, we're, get, we're gonna get some of these cheap ones then. We're gonna take a risk with the low fertility. Gosh darn, why were you 17? I'll give you a good home anyway. I'll give you a nice good home. I'll take you as well. How old do they live for? 25 years. Okay, no, she can... She'll be fine. She'll be fine. I need another male, I believe. I need one male, and I think that'll be fine. And then we can look at... Making this habitat look more homely, because right now... Ooh, we haven't got any donation ocean boxes off horse, are they? Coming up here already. So we need males. How many males we got? Oh dear, not enough. I mean, I'm willing to spend a lot on the male, the breeding male, so we'll go for him. I got enough leaves anyway, I left uh, conservation credits. So let's do that. Let's get these zebras at their no home. So we got a couple of girls. So they're going to be very happy. Oh gosh, where did you come from? Did I buy you? You're 29. No wonder you were so cheap. Oops. Oh no, okay. Oh dear. Here I am worried about the 17 year old and I've got, I've got one here for like 29 years old. I'm gonna sell it for like one conservation credit because I know people won't care so much if it's just one like and they see after that is that age. I mean, I only spent eight on it, I think. So not making a profit at the least, but I don't mind. That's fine, that's fine. And you, I spent 500 on you. Why can't I move you here? There we go. Okay, we are making progress. We are making the progress. Okay, you, get over here. Brilliant. Let's play it a little bit. Actually, I need donation boxes. Donation boxes. Let's do it. Over here. One here. Oops. And one here. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're happy. Hey, guys. You're looking pretty. Looking beautiful. I hope they enjoy the, this habitat here. I really do. The zebras are here. Beautiful. Hello, darlings. Colombo. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the zoo. Welcome to our zoo. Now, any enrichment items? Oh, we got a couple. We got a, uh, one of these. Oh, no. Pygmy hippo's about to die of old age. Oh, gosh. Put that there. And scent marker. We'll put, to give them more of an instinct to come over here, we'll put that there. They've already got a rubbing pillar, but I think this could go here, maybe? Yeah. Okay, no. Oh no. Lulu. Oh, Lulu, no. I don't want you to die. How many babies did you have in your lifetime? You've been here for a while. You have been here for a while. It just says one. But you've had four offspring. Oh, bless you. That's so sad. Oh, whoops. Oh no, she's gone. Oh, I missed it. Oh, poor baby. Oh, that's so sad. I won't show that for that long. It is kind of sad. Rest in peace, Lulu. Oh, that's so sad. Call a vet. 29 years old. How long do they- Oh gosh, you are 31. You are 31. How long do you guys last? How long is the- 
30 years. So she didn't make it to the life expectancy, but she is over the life expectancy. Over there, and you are close as well. So I'm assuming the baby here is going to be the one to carry out. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. Is there another baby? Or is that the only baby? I don't know. I thought there would be another baby. But anyway, look at these. This is such a bland habitat right now. Let's fix that. Let's fix that as soon as possible. So, nature. So we got some... Uh, some areas to play with. We're gonna just go grassland. I know the giraffes like tropical as well, but I want to make sure that the zebras are happy as well. So we're just gonna go for Africa and grassland plants. Maybe I think I think one of these. I know that I know it's big, but I really like them. Is that is angle snap on? It is on. Wait. No, uh, align to surface, that's the one. So I'm gonna put this right here. How much space does that take? Not much. I know, I think that I think this is gonna work. I think this is gonna be fine. So I want some of these umbrella trees because they're pretty beautiful too. Put one here and another we'll put just leaning over here like that. And I think that is okay. Trees wise, I think that's all I'm gonna give at the moment. But then again, we got these lovely little trees here. So I am tempted to put one or two on this side. If we can. Just as like a little thing. But then they got all this ground that they can play with. And we also need rocks. Not to forget the rocks. Uh, so I definitely wanna cover this side up at some point. But for now, I'm going to work on just the interior rocks. So this is going to be like, we're going to have like a built up rock area in certain areas. Nothing too crazy, just bits and bobs here and there. Do another big one over here. Uh, probably here. Make that like that. And then just to break up the ground a little bit, ones that are like not going to affect things too much just on the ground a little bit next to one that's a little bit more chunkier like that uh, is this too organized is this is rock placement a bit too organized I think it is just do it like that for now and then around this edge I wouldn't mind putting some more rocks that they can step on because I think that's quite fun so we're gonna put that right down like that and we're gonna follow that along like this just like that and so they actually have ones that they can step in the shallow water and I quite like the idea of that we'll do different ones kind of leading onto it poking out of the water a little bit yeah and then you've got more of a deep end there but I will put a little bit more rocks on this edge just on this edge just here just to break it up a little bit from being so thing. And maybe just one more in the water, just here. I think that's fine. Okay, I kind of, that looks a little bit weird, but I think it'll work, I think it'll work. And then I think, of course, I do want to make sure that this looks supported. So we're going to put some rocks around this edge here, probably within the fence. Just using the same rock to do this, not not too worried about it. Because you're not going to really be looking too hard about it. And... Yeah. We'll do it all the way around this edge actually as well. Make sure it looks extra supported. That's too close to that edge. Yeah. And just just because I need to know that this is completely, it does look actually supported. I just wanna pop these here. Oh, that's going through, no. Yes, no, there, there we go. All right, you know what? This ain't looking too bad, this ain't looking too bad. Just a few more little rocks I'd like around in certain places. 
maybe one just like leaning out of this one and then a bigger one just pop poking through there just to make it look a bit more natural like so and a bit more there. a different rock actually we use a different rock for that the same goes for just just peeping off the edge of it okay this isn't looking too bad actually i'm not i'm not actually that you know i don't mind this too much i'm not that bothered by it it's actually good you're tiny you look so small well actually no you don't you look smaller than that one though anyway time i've got time for flowers i think time to put a little bit of flowery love around here okay so maybe some of these going around this side and here and then a little bit of flowers poking through here beautiful and maybe some here and maybe a little bit here i just hope this doesn't go over now because i'm really enjoying putting these flowers down i don't know why i'm talking like this <laughs> oh gosh i think i'm in a little bit of a weird mood Ooh, don't want that to happen no 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 mm. don't want it poking through like that it looks so weird around it though it's quite good yeah, a bit here. Yeah, break it up a little bit. Okay, what are you doing? You stop- oh, you're pooping, great, lovely, that's the noise. <laughs> that's the noise of pooping, everybody. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful poop. And over here, in this crevice. And then around the tree, just here. And ultimately, I'd like a big batch of flowers just hiding in here, and another little flower hiding in there, and maybe some of these poking through like here, and maybe even poking through there as well. And I think I'm pretty happy. I mean, we could do with some more elephant grass, maybe. Have we got some more elephant grass? Maybe some elephant grass? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Maybe some actually just poking around this side, actually. I like that. Mmm, bit thinner. And yeah. Just going along this side. I, I haven't even checked if this is too much for them. Please say it's not. It's not! Do we can keep going. I'm so excited. We can actually keep going. Do it like that. Just do it like that. It's a bit different then. And obviously we still need hard shelter. So let's see if we can work on that really quickly. Just a basic one. Just a really, really basic something. So construction. We're going to go African. And then we're going to go walls. And... I'm kind of thinking just really basic for now, like super basic. You're right here, so probably going to be like maybe right here. Uh, so super basic. Super, super basic. Let's make sure it's to your height so you can actually enter. I think that'll be fine. So this is what we're working off. It's going to be this back area into the cliff, probably. Bit more out like that. Bit more on this side as well. And maybe a bit more on this side, actually. Like that. And maybe one more. I know it looks a bit weird right now, but I will make it... This is just gonna be super basic right now. Super, super basic. So I need, I actually need some columns. So these look pretty fun. So let's use these. Make sure they're in line. Just like so. Actually, we could use the, these actual columns. 
But I don't think they're going to look right. So we will leave that. Put you up. I want it to be just like this. And then going down into the ground like so. And then the same on this side. We're going to go... We're going to go up first so I can see exactly where it's going to be. The white is poking through on the other side, I believe, just a little bit. And then bring that down. Make sure the white is kind of coming down like that. And maybe in the middle. No, I think that's fine. I think that'll be fine. For now, that's all I'm going to do when it comes to hard shelter. I think that'll be fine. Hopefully. Yes, they're happy. They're very happy with that. And then beds. This is just basic. I'm probably going to spruce this up at some point. I definitely want to spruce this up at some point. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Get rid of some of the grass a little bit. Probably make this a bit dirtier in here, actually. Bigger ones. Well, There we go. And just soil that up. Soil it up because it looks a bit better, I think, if it's soiled. <laughs> when I say soiled, I mean the terrain. <laughs> Not uh, pooping, just saying animals, just saying. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Very, very basic. Very, very basic. But that's just all I want to do for now, really. I haven't really got a lot of time left. What is happening with that that texture? Oh, do you see that? Ooh, okay, something I changed something in the settings that just doesn't like it. Do you see where the wall used to be? Oh gosh, it, I'm making the game go weird. Okay, that's strange. I don't like that. And anyway, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to test just real quick is putting down that but I think then that is gonna be chopping the head off just a little bit so probably not gonna be able to do that but you could potentially put this on there for a bit of a more of a design effect yeah yeah that's not bad yeah Yeah. I enjoy that. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that's not too bad. It's getting dark. Okay, I will add... I will definitely add more animals in here because we do have a lot of room. We have plenty of room. Can you not get in there now? No? Why? Or is it too... Oh gosh. All right, wait, wait then. Wait, wait. Wait, I got a very easy solution for this. Oh wait, I need to delete all these. Dang. Dang it. Uh, actually, I'll just move them for now. Move them over there. And I'm gonna bring this down just so I can actually like not have to lift the whole building up. And then hopefully you'll be fine. Is that good? Yeah! Brilliant! Okay, move these back in and place like so. There we go. Whoops, in the box. I knew that was going to happen. Wait. Oh, you've just... Oh! They automatically pop out of the box now. That's really handy. Anyway, I think that is where I'm going to leave today's episode. But the visitors are definitely enjoying the new animals. Oh, and there's people actually watching from here. I love that. I need donation boxes here. Just real quick. Just pop some in here to make sure that we are getting the money that we deserve. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at the zebras from this distance. How do they feel about that? Not saying anything yet. But that's fine. That's good. I'm pretty 
pretty happy with how this is looking so far. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's a nice big space. How do you feel? Yes. You're gorgeous. Your eyelashes are beautiful. But anyway, I think this is where I'm going to leave this episode and we'll see what happens in the next one. Maybe we can introduce some more animals into this area. Or, you know, maybe we could work on something else in the zoo. But I'm probably going to add more animals in here. Let me know what animals you want to see in here because I'm pretty sure antelope could go in here. I could have some warthogs, ostriches. Just the animals that they work with, really, that you'll see in the same uh, habitat. But, uh, yes, for now... Thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share this video, I'd really appreciate that too. And I will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye bye.